Heads of state of the Great Lakes region and SADC have recommitted to resolving the conflict in the Democratic Republic of Congo. The three-day meeting was held in the Ugandan capital Kampala to review regional security. CGTN's Isabel Nakiria reports. Delegates at the meeting in Kampala condemned the continued activities of armed forces in the region and particularly those in eastern DRC. According to the UN, rebel activities in the DRC are responsible for the deaths of thousands of civilians while the conflict has forced millions to flee to neighboring countries. Leaders in attendance agreed that a collective effort is needed to end atrocities at the hands of armed groups such as the Allied Democratic Forces, or ADF. We are absolutely convinced that it is possible to defeat these terrorists. Here in Uganda we have done it. We have, we have terrorists of all types, but we defeated them. Even those ADF who are, who are killing people in, uh, in the Congo were here, they were, they were from here, but we defeated them. The DRC goes to the polls in December and its government is hoping for a peaceful election. Representatives from the UN and the African Union have reaffirmed their commitment to providing security. Sadak, meanwhile, has placed UN peacekeeping troops in the DRC and helped to combat the ADF rebel group. Cross-border security-related incidents significantly affect relations and trust between some of the countries of the region. This summit presents an opportunity for a frank exchange on neutralizing remaining negative forces and advancing the African Union's objective of silencing the guns by 2020 in the Great Lakes region. The meeting also supported the deportation of ex-fighters and agreed that these efforts must be sustained. There are still a number of former M23 rebels taking refuge in Uganda after they refused to return for fear of incarceration. So when we met today, we agreed on, on, on a number of measures and one of them would be to, for me as a, the new chairperson of the regional oversight mechanism, to approach President Kabila and see how what we, we do together as a region so that we, we end this problem. In the late 2017, over 100 ADF rebels were killed in a joint raid by the Ugandan army and Congolese forces. The ADF has been blamed for killing UN peacekeepers and civilians in eastern DRC. Delegates at this security meeting note that there have